Benz. Yep, I'm here, guys. Is that is that Mickey Van refereeing as well? Mate, I can't believe it, right? So I've spoke to Mickey just before he come in the ring. He's now 79 Mate. years of age. Wow. He's, he, he covered most of Ricky's fights. Probably 90% of Ricky's fights, Mickey Van was a referee. And they brought him back just for this one. And he looks... He looks, he, he looks he in he better shape. shape than the fighters, to be fair. <laughs> Two That's things, Ben. Two things. Ricky's pushing Barrera here, and I'm a little bit concerned that Barrera might uh, return some real fire. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you might have got an injury, and the nurses are now seeing to you. <laughs> well, listen, my neck definitely feels a little bit stiff, so that might be something that I have to visit <laughs> sometime through the night, there, Gareth. But anyway, back to the fight. Yeah, both guys, you know, Ricky's. Fighting the way that he used to fight, plodding forward, letting the hooks go to the body and the head. Pereira's showing some of his old skills as well, working well off the back foot, flicking out the jab, sneaking in the occasional uppercut. This is good entertainment. The crowd mate, are loving it, by mate, the way. Mate, I bet yeah, they are, right? The, listen, it's great. At certain times, there's that respect you can tell, and they're taking the time, and they're, they're doing the normal shapes and the normal shadows. But every now and again... They just forget that they're in an exhibition and start throwing leather. And That's you think, what worries you know, me. And then you think to yourself, oh, whoa, what's going on? And you know what it is? It's like when you take one, you think, is it me a little bit hard there? Yeah. So I'm going to go back. And that's how it seems to be warming up. Yeah. Rara's just missed with an uppercut there that would have taken you definitely clean out there, Easy. Gareth. That was a, that was a <laughs> lovely shot. But, yeah, no, it's, it's all going very well. There's, um, there's a lot of eyeballs on this one. And um, the boys are definitely entertaining us right up, Come on, up, up there. Come on, give us moment. a prediction who's winning this then. I, think, I don't think there's a score, is there? Um, there isn't. A prediction, but, yeah. No, this is an prediction. Listen, at the moment, I think, it's very, very level. But look, guys, I've got to go. I've got a little bit of a stiff neck. I'm going to okay, have to go and see go this then. nurse. Go on, mate. Go on, then. Keep an eye on the fight for us because we'll check back in very shortly. The three, three rounds at Manchester in the exhibition involving Ricky I Hatton can see Carol there and, and the whole family, his mother's and there, his father's there, his, that, his nephew's there. That's a big thing. The little lad who he's training, Matthew, um, Jack. his brother, Jack, his he's, son, his nephew, Matthew's yeah. son, yeah. Um, who's a decent little South boy, Yes, actually. he is. Listen, this is a big thing, Ricky's family being ringside, because as, as, as he's spoken to us on this show on many occasions, at the back end of that career, when the career was finishing, he had fallen out with yeah, a lot of family members, yeah, and yeah. therefore the, the 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 family had kind of dispersed a little bit. They've mm. all come back together over a over a period of time. They've all made peace with each other, and for them now to be back ringside watching Richard do his thing yeah, well, is a wonderful thing. Yeah, and and Carol Hatton was he's always been his mother's son, and Carol and and Ray used to run a pub, and Carol used to knock guys out in the pub. Ricky tell us stories about his mum's fist coming flying over the bar when people refused to leave or they'd complain about the taste of a pint of ale and so she'd stick a finger in it lick it and go no it tastes fine to me drink it all these great stories that he used to tell and there was a period when he didn't get on with mum and dad and you know and it was at the height of his fame and it is brilliant because they're a wonderful family i, w I once went to Carol's Carpet Shop in Glossop Market, this undercover market. I did a piece for Women's Hour on the BBC with her, and she was commanding the, the, the carpet fitters to go here, there, and everywhere. It was like the matriarch. Such a strong woman. And Ricky got an awful lot of that from her. And he got his football and, f and feet skills, his movement from his dad, of course, who played for Man City. So, um, He's taking a couple. I know, <laughs> don't, I know, don't, I know, don't, don't, don't. We can't do commentary, but it, it is very exciting. I can't take my eyes off it. They're a fascinating family. We covered them inside out, and it's wonderful to see Ricky Hatton, who was suicidal at one point and depressed and dark at one point in his career, in this kind of shape, 12 and a half stone, 13 stone. Enjoying himself. Enjoying himself against one of the all-time Mexican legends. Now, Marco Antonio Barrera, let's tell our listeners is in the top 10 Mexican boxers of all time. And he is a wonderful, wonderful man who has a law degree, by y the way. Yes, and that's the fascinating thing because... Didn't need to. No, he didn't need to. <laughs> he didn't need to be in this position where he it was a fight because he comes from quite a wealthy background. Marco Antonio Barrera has exactly the same standing when he walks down the street in Mexico as Ricky Hatton has in the UK. Yeah. People stop and they want to talk to him. They love him. He's a man of the people we, as they go at it in the fourth round. Been, Look at them. They're it's great. Really Listen, really we've been lucky enough it. to have been out <laughs> on, a, on a fight week in Las Vegas when Barrera's been around and people are stopping yeah. for pictures yeah. and all that type of stuff. It's fantastic. It's fantastic just to see this. And I know that... Listen, people will have their opinions on, on stuff like this. This type of stuff, 
I have absolutely no problem with whatsoever. Because there's no blurring of lines. It's ex exactly what it is. It's two legends in the ring having, having a time of their lives, having a bit of an exhibition and giving you the opportunity to go and pay your respects to them, have a bit of a celebration and have a trip down memory lane. Yes, sometimes boxing does blur the lines with exhibitions and YouTubers and proper fights and all this type of carry on. This is, there's a there's a place for a market, uh, stuff like this. Yeah, there's a market there for it. People will come out and see pe things like this. And I'll tell you what, who'd have thought in 2022... We'll be sat here with Ricky Atten and Marco Antonio Barrera. Tomorrow night, Floyd Mayweather's yeah. on this exhibition yeah. tour. You spoke to him last week. Floyd Mayweather said to you, to your face, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having an exhibition in No, England. he said, I want to do it. He's talking about it with this guy, Keen, the guy that looks after him here from front row. He's well, genuinely talking about it. There's only one opponent, it. mate. Because it's only one opponent. There probably is. <laughs> there prob and, and, and the thing is, isn't it weird that Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather never fought here? And they both say they wish they'd fought here. You know? But, well, there's your guy. If you boys want to have a little bit of an exhibition, a little bit of a dance, there's a geezer in Manchester that we could all have a little bit of fun with. And we're into round five, and Marcos and Tony Barrett. Oh, he's got caught heavily twice by right hand to Ricky. Ricky's Ricky's going he switched to Southpaw. <laughs> but watch Barrera, Barrera switch to Southpaw. I'll tell you why. Because he's feeling the body shots from Ricky, or he might have broken a hand. But they, he wouldn't. you wouldn't know it. In the corner, Kerry listen, Kay's is his listen, old listen, kind of is... what, um, strength and conditioning. <laughs> it's an exhibition. Guy is, is with there with Ricky. You, but in the corners between rounds, they're really barking instructions at them. It's brilliant. It's an exhibition, right? But every, like I said to Spence a moment or two ago, every now and again, one of them just lands a little bit sweet and then it just kicks off for But it's a, an for, exhibition for of two legends. Yeah, That's the thing, isn't it? They know what know? they're doing. They know yeah, what they're doing. It's, yeah. it's great to watch, uh, and we'll keep you across that. Uh, as, 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 <laughs> I wish you'd stop it. Boom, boom, <laughs> body, body, head, head. Anyway, you listen to Fight Night on TalkSport. <laughs>